I'm not a legal eagle, but um, if you look at the Constitution, one of the key provisions is you're, you're, you're innocent until proven guilty. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And that pervades everywhere. So even in the corruption area, now you talk about the leadership and integrity provisions, whatever, and everything else. If somebody says that this guy is corrupt, which is quote, quote, guilty, mm -hmm. somebody has to prove it. And the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, all these agencies, to prove it, where do they have to do? Somebody can say, we have to go through a court of law, because you guys cannot say that I'm corrupt until you prove that I'm corrupt. Mm -hmm. So until the due process has been completed, that provision in the Constitution is a complete lame duck. Mm -hmm. Right? And the, the conference that we had on corruption was to get the institutions and the commissions that are playing in that area to up their game and begin to do what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Because the minute you have case law that is based on their, on their mandate, over time, then automatically people know that if I go to court, right, and these are the circumstances prevailing, my likelihood of success is very low. But our good friend, the, the you know, the, the perennial, um, whatever it is, the perennial um, litigant, mm -hmm. yeah. in 2013, okay, already I'm... had that taken care of that, uh, that he's already gone and, and, and blown that out completely. So once the court has set that precedent, all these other guys have to find something else either through a new um, bit of legislation that seeks to change some or reinterpret part of the constitution in law. And we, I think, 